Trying hard to, it's not true. a new technique I've been working on. Um, I revisited some of my uh, Japanese um, carpentry books. The Japanese have a different philosophy about the way they work their wood. Bit me on the back of my neck. And I am taking off minuscule amounts. This is a this is a handle design. So I'm just being really careful. This palm swell's not done. Now if you remember in uh, I'm not sure how far back it is, but this is the one that uh, this was the curved board that we matched up the, the uh, pattern to the board, not, oh shoot, not the other way around. Um, and uh, so I've been kind of doting on this and figuring out what I'm going to do. Um, it's got a little influence from some from a friend of mine from Australia, Larrikin Axis. Thank you for all the inspiration. I really appreciate it. Oh dear. Yeah, we're doing some good there. Hmm. I think somebody's just getting refried in there. Um, but uh, this will probably go through several iterations, but you can see, hopefully you can see, hopefully that's a good vantage point. Um, not taking a lot at a time. And uh, i am uh, got this situated to where I'm trying to get the sides as even as I can I'll across the center line. And then um, you take some off of one side and you take some off the other side. So you're consistently working either side of the center line. Um, and it seems to be pretty nice. And you're able to, when you get a shape to where you want, you're able to work the whole handle um, up and down. And it's, it's eliminating the lumpy lumpy. Uh, but yeah, it's just being 
slow and methodical. Um, there's a spot. And I like the hex, hex head, and it's just all in relationship to the axe head as well. Um, you know, you're looking, uh, you're looking down the axe, and uh, it's it's all right here. You're not working one side and taking it out of a vise and flipping it over and trying to have the memory of the last side you worked on. And this is just boom. It's it's immediate, and. It, uh, there's another Skeeter. Skeeter, Skeeter interrupt us. Got him. I'm telling you, these, these, uh, these freaking electronic tennis rackets are awesome. Um, the palm spell is not going to necessarily be symmetric. I, symmetrical, I think, because this side right here was really close to the bark and uh, so it has a nice roundness to it if you remember too for the center of this handle I counted grow rings on this so this is a little more straight I think I'm gonna leave this natural curve to it in there it's kind of nifty but I like the axe dug in because if you get too much waggle you're not being gentle enough um, and you'll get another file a finer file um, I haven't decided if I'm going to thin this hand grip down I've really worked on this grip um, more recess right here for your the meat of your palm and then here so we're not talking necessarily symmetrical we're talking about more of ergonomics so I want the side of your palm to be able to fit into this and then I want uh, I may need to work on this side a little bit more but this this is more for this bit right here is more for your uh, for your grip for your pinky so they're not going to be the same. They'll be similar, but not the same. This is not a production axe. I can't tell if Toots wants me to throw the ball. Do you think she wants me to throw the ball? And I'm just now, what I did, um, with this as well. Oh, here comes Cece. Um, what I did with this as well was as I was working this. Okay. Um, hi, Annabelle. How are you? How are you? Um, what I did as well was uh, I took my center line away in certain places and then worked that. And uh, it seems to it seems to be. Good. It's always good to like uh, try different things and sort of throw it out there and just see what falls out of the tree, no pun intended. Okay, I have to restick this. As eventually it does uh, it does loosen up, but um, so the palm swell isn't quite finished, but there's what I'm talking about. You see the curvature, this top side being the bark side. Uh, but uh, I think she's looking okay. Um, but you can see my files are not taken very much at all. Um, But uh, this is a nifty piece of Osage Orange. I kind of like that. I'm excited to see. I'm going to set you guys down for a minute. You can look at that stump. <laughs> yeah. 
put this back in the wood. Well, I'm gonna put it. So I'm gonna go like that. Now we're okay. See, see, you do. Let's get you under here. I got one spot I see. Whoa, watch out, tools. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how that does. And the thing about it too, as I found, is the thing. The thing that I've uh, um, the rule that I kind of have with this guy is, uh, if I get frustrated or hung up on something, I leave it alone. Um, I come back the next day or come back several hours later, and it's a new perspective. So that hopefully we're not getting frustrated and uh, not contributing to the problem. to only, you know, match it stroke for stroke. Oh God, I may have to go inside. These guys are terrible. So, I already have this where I want it, but, uh, Feeling pretty good about taking these lumps out, and they weren't big. Mainly thinning. And then the other thing too, just the other obvious test when you're out here at the stump. You just get an immediate, and this isn't sharpened by any stretch. You can kind of feel how the handle's going, but, uh, and I have some shaping to do. I can't get it to stick with one hand. I've got a few refinements, but uh, not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>